for include operations for include like from one page to another page if you want to load let's say if you have one page here main page in this main page here if you want to load one header here if you want to load one footer here if you want to load one menu kind of things if you want to include a header and a menu a footer in your main page and if you have separate header page separate a head page if you have here and a menu page if you have here and if you have a footer page if you have separate separate pages something menu.html and header.html and if you have footer.html okay if you want to include these pages into your main page if you have one home jsp page in this home.jsp page if you want to include these header menu footer contents in this page actually i have some body content here along with this body content i want to include this header here i want to include menu here and i want to include footer content here so for doing this include mechanisms there are two mechanisms one is by using jsp colon include page here you can pass your required page names or page path your page path you should pass here and there is one more mechanism you can use this at the rate include file you can pass your page path you can use this mechanism and this one also and then what is the difference between this jsp include and jsp i mean at the rate include file in between these two directives which one is better to use here what are the differences see coming to the differences if i go through this jsp include or else if i go through this at the rate include file what happens actually here see if you have a page if you have a page here and in this page if you want to include a head page let's say if the page name is something main.jsp here i have some content in between my html and html i have some content here head body and some body content i have here something in between paragraph and paragraph i have some content it's menu related content i have here some menu related content i have here along with this menu i want to include here a header i want to include a header so that if i have a table here if i have a table here in this table if i have one tr i mean i want to divide my table into my page into two rows one is for header one is for body okay so if you create two trs here in one tr i want to place head content and in one tr i want to place some body related content okay so here i have i want to include here i want to include a page here i want to include head page here i want to include head page and this content the remaining content is here the body content so to include a head content here let's say if you have for suppose one head page if you have one head page if you have content like durga soft so this page i want to include and the page name is something title dot jsp page i want to include this page here so if i include this page here by using jsp include mechanism jsp colon include page equal to this page path title dot jsp if i pass here okay along with your this body content it will display that durga soft also here okay finally it will give us a header durga soft it will provide us a header here durga soft along with your body content what are the main content we have here main content what are the main content we have here that complete main content it will load okay in case if you make any changes here from this durga soft if you make it durga jobs if you make it durga jobs okay from here if you make it durga job if you make it durga jobs what happens whenever you refresh this page it will compile again it will compile this page also here and this page content it will load here 
okay so whenever you refresh while using this jsp include page whenever you try to refresh your main page along with your main page content it will refresh title.jsp page content also so that means at what time it is making compilation and the remaining things of this included page at runtime only right when i refresh this page whatever the included page we have here that page also it will compile again means if you have any functions here if you have anything here that things also will compile along with your page getting if you make any changes here definitely it will reflect that page content here okay so when you refresh instead of durga soft it will place here durga jobs but if you go through this jsp include file mechanism okay at first time of loading this main page it will load this page content here and in case if you make any changes here at runtime it is not going to refresh your content okay so in case if you have any static content here if there is a chance i mean if this content if no chance to change in future so in that case you better to go through include file mechanism so if you use include file mechanism it will load this page here only one time from the next time onwards the same output it is going to display in case if you make any changes also here it is not going to reflect okay so if you have any particular static content here if no chance to change so then which approach is good include file mechanism in case if there is a chance in this file in case if there is a chance to make changes in this file so you better to go through include page include page will compile that loaded page also but coming to this i mean include page will do this but coming to this at the rate include file only one time it will load on first time loading it will compile this title page and the title page content it will display here from the next time onwards it is not going to load your file okay this is one time process this is every time process like when you make changes again it will recompile when you make changes again it will recompile the include pages okay yeah i'll show you example you dynamic web project jsp include and page include jsp page include and at the rate include direct to include and page include okay the differences between these two direct to include is one time process coming to page include is every time it will refresh okay this one is page include and this one is direct to include direct to means file okay direct to include and you can call it as page include page include will refresh but whereas direct include will not refresh in case if you are i mean if you make any changes on your file also only one time it will load so see the difference create one page new some jsp page or a html page head dot html okay i'll keep one heading here but you know you know right h1 means heading so durga soft now create two pages one is index.jsp the first page here create html and head title title name and coming to body keep some body content here index page okay and yeah along with this page just i'll use here two more pre tabs 
and keep here one is JSP include and the page is head dot html and yeah in one more pre use here at the rate at the rate include file include your file here head dot html right here we are trying to including file here we are trying to including a page now load this page including Durga soft two times right one is by using at the rate page include and one is by using include file right and make changes in this index head dot html Durga soft make it Durga jobs refresh this page both changed both changing It's only plain content, right? You make it JSP page. Head dot JSP. Okay. I'll do one thing. I'll make that HTML page also dynamic page. Okay, I'll make it head dot JSP. So plain content actually it is reflecting here. I'll make changes here. Head dot JSP. Yeah. And I'll create one more page. This one is index dot JSP and one more page. Index one dot JSP. Here instead of using this, use at the rate include file. This one is index one page, right? Now in this head dot JSP, keep one result here. Int i equal to 10, int j equal to 20, and out dot print ln of 10 plus 20. Some dynamic content also now we have here. So it need to display Durga jobs and some content 30 also it need to display right. Along with this it need to print. Okay, some number 30. As per my convention, see, one thing need to refresh dynamically, one thing should not refresh. Okay. So this is our index page. And if I try to load index 1.jsp, same thing okay now make changes on this head make it 20 and 20 is it changed index one page see the result 
30 only right 20 plus 20 48 need to give but try to load index dot jsp hi sorry 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 okay now make changes here okay both reflecting mm. make a var file So here I have var. Directly I'll deploy this var into Tomcat. Let's try manual. I think in Eclipse when you make changes, automatically it is refreshing your container also. Okay. If it refresh container, definitely it should reflect. So what I'll do? Directly I'll include here. I mean, I'll load directly into web apps. Shut down this. Anyways, port number is 65535. So load your container. Still not loaded, right? So in case if it is not loaded, using var file also you can load. Desktop, select your var, deploy. Direct var deployment. Now it is loading, right? Select. This one is index page and index one dot jsp two pages we have right did you understand the concept okay when you do manually like once after deployment if you make any changes it is not going to reflect on runtime i mean at runtime every time it will not compile this but when it comes to uh, like jsp include page mechanism at runtime every time it will compile your page i mean at least, at least it will check in case if you make any changes on this content Definitely that content, it will refresh this. But coming to this, it will not refresh. Okay. 